Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanind and this is part 11 of Power BI Beginner to Pro Crash Course tutorial series. In this video, we are going to talk about various ways and various options available in Power Query Editor to add a new column. So as you can see here, there are multiple options available. We can add a column from example, we can have a custom column added, we can add columns based on some conditions, we can have an index column and duplicate columns. So if you don't know what is index column, don't worry, we will just uh, go through an example and I'll let you know what is index column and why do we add it. So without any further ado, let's get started with adding columns in Power Query Editor. All right, guys. So now we are into this Power Query Editor and I have already selected to an Excel file that contains some order details. So this data is just all about couple of orders. So let's not like dive into which kind of data it is. Let's hit straight away on adding columns. So just to make it easier, let me just, you know, get rid of all of the columns. So I can just go and remove all other columns except the one I have selected. Okay, just to make it easier what we are going to do here. Now, let's say if I want to add couple of columns and let's say if I'm going on the add column option, the first option that says add column from example. So add does it like the name says, what we can do with this option, we can add any column based on the example values that we will be providing to Power BI. So in this current scenario, uh, we see an order ID column where I have couple of you know order IDs and it's a combination of let's say state, year and the order number. Now, if I want to populate all together a new column that might contain any of the element listed in the original column, what I can do, I can let's say if I want to extract the order ID, I can write 152156 and you would, you would notice it is kind of identifying it, right? So if I just hit enter, you would notice it has, you know, populated rest of the values like columns in the entire column. So if you notice it's correctly the same, right? So let's say 108966 and similarly this, right? So now we can just go ahead and hit OK and it will add that column for us. Now I know we can achieve this using split columns or maybe some other text functions. But the thing is here, we are not using any, uh, you know, inbuilt functions or we are not writing any formulas. We just gave an example to Power BI and just added a column for us, right? Isn't so interesting, right? So let me show you an example, another example. So this time, let me take, let's say ship date, okay? And I'll say add column from example from this selection, okay? And again, sorry, let me just, you know, get rid of rest of the column just to make it easier what we are doing. So I'll go on home, click on remove other columns. Okay. Now add columns, columns from example. Okay. Now in this ship date column, let's say I want to extract the day. All right. So the date actually. So it, it is represented in DDMMYY format. So the date is actually 11, 11, 16, 18, right? So I, I know again, we can achieve it using some split functions or some functions, but let's say how easy it is to you know create it by some example so let's say i want the day here which is 11 okay and over here again it's 11 then 16 then 18 so power bi is smart enough it is using some kind of machine learning in the background some format or maybe some pattern and based on that it is able to identify the values for the rest of the columns that we want actually right so that's how easy it is to create a column using some like column from example all right, so again, let me just undo these steps. Now let's talk about adding a column based on some custom functions. Okay, so how can we do that? Let's 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 take a look on the column. Uh, what column maybe like just we need it. Let's say for our analysis in this uh, in this report, maybe we need a column that will be a concatenation of uh, category, subcategory, and the product name all together in a single column. So there might be some situation. So in order to achieve that, what we can do, we can just get into the custom column function, the custom column option. It will open a new window 
and here we can define the new column name so let's say let's leave it custom as of now now on this side you can see a list of all the columns available in the table that we are working on okay so if we want to create a concatenation of these three columns we can maybe manually write category over here and select this from the list and just say let's say and and add a space in between or we can also we can just select this column and hit on insert and again add and and then a space in between then again and and this time add a product name all right so we are just doing the concatenation in a custom function so there are a list of a lot of function that you can perform you can just click on this link and it will take you to our documentation part over there you can just get through this and you will be able to you know see all the list of formulas and queries available in the power bi which you can learn and try out now whatever you are doing in this window you need to make sure it's a case sensitive window so whatever functions that you are going to write they should be like followed in a proper manner all right so enough for this like custom function like custom column sorry so i'll just go ahead and hit okay and you would notice it has created a new custom column which is the concatenation of you know all three uh, columns which is selected so furniture bookcase and bush and rest of the product name all right okay so now let's talk about our another function uh, another way of adding column which is nothing but the duplicate column so as it is like so easy to see it let's say i want to create a duplicate column for the product name i can just select this column hit on duplicate column and it will altogether add a new column so there might be some situation where we need a, a duplicate column maybe we want to do some you know a modification in the existing product name but we still want to you know keep a copy of the original product name so in that situation we might need such kind of you know function now the another option is creating an index column okay so what is index column so index column is nothing but it actually creates an index it actually creates a row number for a table so in our case we have we already have a column which is row id right and it is giving a unique identification number to each row so this unique identification can be required it might be utilized in multiple calculations in performing some like maybe analysis so most of the time maybe maybe we need it to join with some other things right some other tables if we have similar approach followed in other tables now think of a scenario if you don't have such column available in your table so we can just go ahead and simply create an index column all we need to, to do is just you know select this table in which we are like the query and you just need to hit index column now obviously you can short the columns before you know creating the index column the way you want to create index right so you can short the columns accordingly and once you have a proper shorting you can go on the index column now in the drop down it will give you actually three options so one says is starting from zero starting from one and a custom so what does it mean so let's see if i'm hitting a start from zero so what it will do it will add a new index function it's all together a new row number for each row in this table but it is starting from zero right so zero one two three four five however if i want to start it from one i can do that or if I want to define any custom frequency, let's say I want to start it from five and I want to give an increment of five. Okay, so it will start from five and every row it will give an increment of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, right? So this is how we can define a custom frequency to create an index column. Okay, great. So uh, I hope it is helpful. Now let's talk about creating a conditional column. Okay, so let me just get rid of these functions just to keep things easy. Okay, now let's take the profit column for example. Let me just get rid of other column just to make it easy. Sorry, remove other columns. Okay, now in this profit column, you would notice I have a couple of fields which are in negative and then in positive and then negative, right? So what I want to identify, uh, if there is a negative profit, then maybe I want to uh, create a new column that will say, um, let's say loss or profit, okay? So let's see how can we achieve it using conditional column. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and uh, 
select like click on conditional column now once you will do that it will create a new window a new pop-up will come where we can define a condition right so it's kind of a configuration window that we can work with we can define a new column name now we have this profit column over here so what i what condition i want to give here let's say if profit is less than zero okay then i want to create a new column that will say it's a loss so i don't know to give the you know quotes over here just say loss add a new clause now if profit is equals to zero then it would be like cost to cost okay and if profit is let's say greater than zero then it would be profit okay that's all i can define maybe any other else condition so maybe we can write null or anything that you want to specify in case it is not you know meeting all three categories like all three conditions so just hit okay and you would notice it has created a new column that says profit profit and in case the profit was negative it says loss okay so this is how we can easily create a new column based on some conditions and indexing creating a duplicate column i know i have skipped the invoke custom function thing over here so uh, we will talk about this in our upcoming videos for now i hope it was uh, information the information provided in this video was helpful for you and you got to know a couple of things couple of ways of adding new columns in the power bi query editor so if you like the content do hit the like button and make sure you're subscribing to my youtube channel just to stay up to date on any latest video that I upload. If you have any feedback, any questions, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to answer that. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.